What's up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna check out my home theater receiver speaker settings. Uh, in my home theater videos, I did receive a lot of comments asking what my speaker uh, settings are and what my configuration is. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys showing you what, what I have set up on mine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Denon receiver remote. I have a Denon AVR2600. What you do is you press the setup button and it will bring up a speaker menu. Here we are. Ooh, it looks a little washed. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights so you can see it better. There we go. So I have a Denon receiver. The, this is the menu for Denon. The Marantz receivers are, also have a similar menu. But uh, the other receivers out there, they're gonna have a similar menu to this, even though it might not be the same one, you should be able to pretty much follow this uh, guide and, and uh, adjust your speakers as needed. So we're gonna click on speakers and I do the manual setup. That's where I can individually assign all the speaker settings. So what we do is we go to speaker configuration and here's my settings. I have the front, center, and surround set as small. I recommend that you guys set it as small because even though you may have large tower, front towers, I would still set it as small. What that means is you're basically telling it that you want a, a lot of the, the sound, the treble, voice to go to those speakers and that you have a dedicated sub for your bass. So see how I said subwoofer, yes, because I'm telling it I wanna use that sub for pretty much all my bass sounds. And um, you'll see my other settings where I set all that up. But uh, I definitely recommend a small setting, even if you have towers. Next one is distances. So depending on your room size, um, you'll set this up. My settings are my front left, front right at 9.5 feet, um, my center channel at nine feet. So basically where, where I'm sitting, I'm saying that these speakers are towards the front about that distance away, nine feet, 9.5 feet. The sub, here's a tip for the sub, put it far away because if you tell it um, to be far, like I'm saying 13 feet, that means you're telling it that I want that sub to be so loud enough to, to go the 13 feet distance. So pretty much I'm telling you, hey, I want my sub to full fill the whole room. Like I wanna hear it. Um, so I recommend putting that at, at a, a pretty much more distance away than your other speakers. Then your left and right, since I sit in the back, those speakers are not too far away from me. So I have it set at eight feet. Um, you can. Go with a little bit less if you want, but I just wanted to do eight feet on mine. So there you go. There's my settings. Levels. This is where you adjust individual speakers by uh, each speaker separately. So the default is zero dBs. This is where you tell it which speakers you want it to be louder than the others. So I always leave my center channel at default zero. Sometimes I, I even go one dB, but you should try to keep it at zero. Then from there, you can adjust the other speakers to be a little less loud than your center channel. You want your center channel to be the loudest. So I have my front left and front right at negative 1.5, just a, you know, a little lower than my center. Then I have my surround right and surround left at plus 1.5 because I want those to be loud because those speakers, you know, I want to hear that glass breaking, the helicopters flying by. I want to hear those. You know, they're not always on. They only come on, you know, when there's surround effects. So sure, I want those loud. And then the sub, I don't want it to be louder than all my speakers because I want to, you, I want to hear the action and then just have the sub in the background. So I have it set at negative 2.5. There we go crossovers okay so I have that at individual the default setting is 
80. Some some receivers is set at 875. I would leave it at the default for the front and center, whether it's 75 or 80. And then the surround, I have it at 110 because I want it to be louder. Uh, it goes back to my whole, I want to hear the glass breaking, helicopters, all of that. Bass. Oh, this is your sub. So your sub, I have mine set at LFE. LFE means that you want all the bass sounds to go to your sub. Remember how we talked about setting the speakers to small? That's, I'm saying that those speakers are small, but send all the bass to my sub. So that's what LFE means, and then I have it at 100 hertz. All right, that's pretty much everything for speakers. I'll quickly show you audio. Uh, center level adjust, like I was saying earlier, zero. Subwoofer, negative 2.5, like I was saying. Surround, I have it on cinema, on. And that's it. All right, now let's go back to my Apple TV menu. So let's do a quick demo real quick. Do a demo for you guys. I usually listen to it around 50 during the day, about 40 at night. 52 sounds really nice. So we'll do we'll do it on 52. Here we go. This is a great movie to demo, guys. Dark Knight. Listen to those helicopters. you guys uh, enjoyed the video and help in this helps you guys out if you have any more questions you know feel free to comment down below hit that like button subscribe all right guys peace